Hey everybody, it's Sister here. Welcome to my channel. Guys, what is going on with Mexico? So supposedly they found an alien, a mummified alien. It looks really preserved and supposedly it has like eggs inside of it. If you guys do not know what I'm talking about, go look it up and just watch the few videos. I have not dig deep and researched this at all, but when I saw it and I did my last nail design, the vampire nail design, yeah, it just made sense to do a nail design based off this alien with the door on top of it. What do you guys think? So that's basically where my head is that for this video so let's just get started and yeah let's let me know your thoughts on this whole alien conspiracy because now that i'm looking it up they're stating that it's that it's fate it's a scam scientists are not convinced like what is it is it real is it not and i feel like i don't be, i don't know if i believe it or not but i guess it's up to you guys to decide if you believe it or not listen if the president of the united states is not saying it is confirmed a real alien I'm not convinced either. I need to hear it from his mouth that it is legit. I don't know. It's just weird to me. Let me know what you guys think about it. But this is a nail channel, so we're just going to do a nail design inspired by this whole alien drama, okay? <laughs> we're going to do a set similar to the last video. So these are the extra long coffin non C curve tips. I hope this background works. I thought it was really cool. It kind of it reminds me of like, you know, that type of scientific science stuff. Let me just go ahead. I already have a peel off base coat. You guys know. Let me see if I could do this fast. I'm gonna try to do it like this. See if it works. Apply it on all of them. Yeah, for the last video, I ended up using stiletto. But for this one, I want to do all coffin. So we're gonna go one by one. Glue them. Like so. Oh, this is fast. Ew. I think I found a faster method. One, two, three, baby. Wow. Oh, that is totally gonna be my method going forward. That is so easy. Wow. I'm gonna cure that in my full size lamp. I'm gonna apply base gel again on the entire surface. I don't really wanna blend these out. I want this to be quick. I don't have enough time, honestly. So I am gonna be skipping some steps. But I'm just gonna go in and just, oh man, I should've cut these shorter. I do need to cut them shorter, so we'll do that after. But I'm just gonna add a layer of base gel all over, and then I'm gonna cure that in place. I think this set is gonna be really fun and interesting. The idea that I have in my mind, I still wanna do the, um, like a liquid nail oh but that one might be a little bit hard so i don't know i'm gonna have to see what i could come up with for that one because the last video the last set that i did that nail was pissing me off and it did not turn out how i wanted it to turn out so i still gotta figure out what happened with that one full cure 60 seconds it is honestly in my opinion hard to believe that there is not any other life form in the universe in the entire space because it's so large. How can there not be other life forms? It's just crazy to me. But yeah, I don't think they come over here and like test us or study us. Do I think that they come here? Yeah, I don't think so. And honestly, the way they were picking it up, there's a clip that I saw that they were just picking this up and like flipping him, flipping the alien and just like flipping. And then you see like the dust kind of like falling off of it. So that's why I kind of found it a little bit hard to believe. Like, why are they just picking it up like this? To me, it's a little bit hard to believe. I'm still not 100% convinced. And like I said, if the president have not spoken on it, I'm not believing nothing until the president confirms that it's real. <laughs> okay, so like I said, I forgot to size these out. So this is the full cover tip that I'm going to use. So the alien... I'm gonna come alien. So the alien is going to be on the ring nail. It's gonna be on the ring nail just like the last video. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna size this out and then I'm gonna cut it down just like that. Okay, we are good to go. So I'm gonna start off by applying clear to. I'm gonna apply clear to all of them except for the ring nail. So this is crystal clear. This is actually a new jar. I kind of wanna show you guys what I've been doing lately when I like open new jars. All you gotta do is either cut the center or on the side, only one side open, so your gel is not spilling all over the place. So I know for me, when it gets really hot, my jar will end up leaking. So to avoid that, I'm doing this really messy, but to avoid that, you only wanna do a hole in the center and then then it'll kind of help you know minimize your gels leaking but it happens with all gels but i'm just gonna do this i'm actually gonna clean it up a little bit it's irking me how sloppy it looks 
Okay, so that's better. When it comes to the middle nail, I'm going to do a thin layer. I'm not going to build it up. But for these other nails, I'm going to build up the product. Like, these nails are going to stay clear. I'm just going to do this. Kind of do one of these. And then I like to pull it down the side. And then pull it down this side. And then just let it self-level a little bit. This also minimizes any kind of bubbles so it doesn't form in the nail. So you still got a little bit of bubbles, but very little. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cure that. So for this middle nail, I'm only gonna focus around the top section where my nail plate is. Only because since this is going to be like a liquid nail, I wanna make sure my nail plate is going to be protected. I don't wanna get any kind of moisture on it. So I'm just gonna go in and just add a really thin layer. Like I said, this is just to protect the nail plate. So real thin. I'm gonna go drag that down. Just like that. I'm just gonna cure that in place. This one I am skipping. Now we do the pinky. real quick i'm just gonna go in i already did them they're all clear i tried my best and i get a bubble but i was rushing the process a little bit so it's okay we're gonna go in and just cleanse the surface because i think i want to do the middle nail i don't know if i want to do the middle nail or the ring nail next i think i'm gonna do the middle nail first for the middle nail i'm just gonna top coat it real fast i was gonna cleanse it but i just think top coating is just gonna work better in my favor I'm just gonna top coat and then I'm gonna cure again. So I want to add this in like this and then fill it. But I kind of want this middle nail to look like, you know when like they preserve like specimens in like liquid? That's kind of what I want to do for this nail. I think that'll be really fun. But I don't know what I want to put inside. I kind of wanted to put, I don't want it to look like a baby first of all. I wanted to do like a little alien. So this is going to be hard because it's not going to even fit down the barrel. So I'm going to have to put it in inside and then cure it while it's in there but then i still want it to move i got a lot going on in my mind right now so i'm just trying to think about the best option of how or scenario how i could do this let me create one i want to put inside first okay so i'm gonna take out this i used this last time this is carving gel and i'm just gonna take a small amount i'm just thinking how big i want it we're gonna try to do a little tiny alien this might go really good it might go really bad but we're gonna figure it out I am going to break this up like he has two legs, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe I should just do the alien face. That might be easier. And then he'll probably still be able to move inside the tank. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do like an alien face. Like a pear shape, right? Because they have like pear heads. Aliens have like these weird eyes, right? I don't like how that looks. I'm gonna redo it. Oh my god, I'm seeing like certain images and they look scary. So I'm trying to look up aliens like in jars to see what comes up. And I don't want to go too literal. Like that's like really intense some of these images. We're just gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna try to make him look like an alien. So this is gonna be the head. And then I kind of want to make it look like he has like a tail and spin it. Something like this. Right? Like a little tail. Make that attached. Okay, how does that look? This is the eye. Mm-hmm. We're getting somewhere. I kind of want to make this part a little bit pointy. This looks like a seahorse. <laughs> I'm trying to make him look alien-like. Okay, you know what? I'm going to leave it like this. I think once I cure it, then I could kind of work with it. I'm going to leave it like that. He looks seahorse-ish. Seahorse. 
that's not even a word <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna like darken him up a bit so i'm gonna take some of this gray and do like a really light wash on him should i use a little bit of green maybe i should use a little bit of green just a slight tint of green i'm gonna use a little bit of green first just quickly like dust it on him i think i got, like brown on this thing oh what color is that oh that's red that's from the last video dang I'm just gonna lightly rub that on him do one of these and then i'm gonna cure that maybe the back could be really dark and green the spinal part this is starting to look like a dinosaur color i'm just gonna add some gray for the eye i'm gonna fill in this whole thing Ooh, that looks like an alien now i think the eye kind of completed it i'm just gonna clean it real quick so it's not sticky so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna make the tank but now since i want him inside like he's not gonna fit in that hole so i have to seal it with him in the freaking nail i'm gonna use my bling no wipe rhinestone gel because like i said i need this little guy to stay inside so I'm going to have to seal the top first. He's going to have to stay in there. And then I'm going to have to add glue to at least the cuticle part. So this stays in place. And then cure it while he's in it. And then seal the sides. Because I need him to be inside. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to use a detailer to be precise. And just do something like this. Only focus on the cuticle. Or maybe a little bit on the side right here. I'll just... Stay right here. Don't move. I'm gonna take my tip. Oh my god. I'm just, I'm just gonna put it there for now. I'm not touching nothing else. I'm actually gonna raise it up a little bit because if I could get him to move, I would be so happy. I'm gonna cure this a little bit. I'm gonna raise this up. And I'm gonna go back and do the sides. And as you see, I did raise it just a little bit because, like I said, I want him to be able to move. See, he's gonna get stuck, but I'm trying. Just touch, just lightly touch around the side. I'm going to make a barricade and then I'm going to cure as I go along. And this is a big gap. My God. Alright, so this is what we got. Um, he is able to move kind of like I shake him really hard, like he gets stuck. So when I put the oil, he's probably not gonna be able to move and like really flow how I want to. I'm gonna have to fix this because this looks really lumpy. Um, but not bad. Um, so I think I want to. I don't know what I want to do, guys. I think I'm gonna shape really fast before I add any liquid. Let me do that. So I'm just gonna shape these as well really fast nothing crazy these aren't too bad shape wise but i still want them to look nice you know what i'm saying I'm gonna cleanse now for this middle note I kind of want the liquid to be a little bit like dirty and dingy so what I am thinking like it's sitting in a solution to preserve it I don't do I want to do like a yellowy I think I want to do like a dirty yellow color <gasps> can I use canola oil it's yellow already that'd be weird let me try making my own oil first if it don't work out then I'll go get that canola oil <laughs> So I'm gonna add this this cuticle oil has like glitter inside of it. It's okay. I hope that's enough. I think that's enough. This might not be enough, but we're gonna work with it. So for the liquid, I'm gonna go in. This is um this is like full color for oil. It'll, you'll be able to mix it in. So I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit of yellow. This is black. I'm trying to see if they have like a brown. I guess they don't. Um, I got this also on Amazon. So I'm gonna go in with this. Maybe I could add a little bit of green. 
do I have green? I do. Y'all, and I'm going to add the smallest amount because I want a hint of the color. I'm going to add it to this and then add a little bit as I go. Just going to add a dot right there. This is blue. It says green. This looks blue. Was I supposed to shake it? Maybe I was supposed to shake it. Oh, now it looks green. I'm gonna add a little bit at a time. Yeah, this has like glitter inside of it. I don't know if I like the glitter. I'm gonna have to redo this. I don't like the glitter that's in it. Okay, so I'm gonna go take some canola oil because it's already yellow. And I'm just gonna add a drop of green in it. And y'all gonna have to deal with it. Oil is oil. <laughs> See, so it's already yellow. And I could just pour it straight in. I do want it to be a little bit green. So I think I'm just going, I'm scared because I don't want to add a lot of this. But I'm gonna add a teeny, 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 teeny drop. Right there, that's it. Just drop. Boom. There we go. Look, see, it turns it green. I like that. See? Green. Now I gotta soak it up in my syringe. This syringe I got again um Amazon. We're gonna soak it up. Oh, this is kind of hard. OMG. You gotta go down, buddy. Okay, now we're gonna just inject this bad boy with my green liquid. And I don't know if I want to fill it all the way. I think, do I want to fill it all the way? Bubbles? I don't know. I don't like bubbles. I don't know why, but I'm just going to fill it. Some of that gel. And I'm going to go right, right on that surface. And just cap. And not pure. Oh, he moves, guys. Ew, he's moving. He's moving. I am making sure y'all see that he is moving. Because if he decides to get stuck, I'm going to be so pissed off. Okay, y'all y'all witnessed it. He is moving. I'm going to clean up the edge. I'm just going to file these little side pieces off. I'm actually going to top coat this real fast. Just so it's done. If anything tries to be funny, which it better not be. Just going to top coat it. So like I said, just to be on the safe side. Just gonna put some shiny and white top coat on this and seal up the sides. This is taking me longer than I initially thought. All right, so now that that is done, I'm going to take y'all. So y'all don't even know, I forgot in the last video, I used the last door hinge. You guys, you don't even want to know what I did to get this freaking door hinge. I had to sacrifice another nail design, an old nail design. So I stole it. I'm going to put it back, I promise. Sorry, but I need it for this nail design. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take a small amount and then I'm going to add it to this part right here now this i'm gonna just glue it like that and if it's sticking up in the air that's fine and we're just gonna cure that cure that in place opens it closes we're good to go so now for the inside same thing i kind of want to do something similar than i like i did the last one it looks like a white silk i don't know so we're gonna go in with white so i'm gonna use my always required gel hard gel add it to the entire surface just like so really quick nothing crazy cover the door hinge a little bit not too much when it comes to the middle i'm just gonna scrape out the center because that's where the alien is going to be sleeping so i actually forgot i had this this is called gypsum i might be saying that wrong glue it's like a textured oh this is green i thought this was cream i could use this um so it's like a textured gel i don't even know how to describe it and i'm gonna put this on the perimeter of the nail and i'm hoping this is going to give it like a textured look so we're gonna try here just use my finger instead oh yeah it works better with my finger so we're just gonna add that to the perimeter this is weird it gives it like a grainy feeling i don't know how to describe it kind of pushing moving it around a little bit okay so i'm gonna leave it like this and i'm gonna cure that oh that burns what the hell i was not expecting that now i have this chrome powder this is like a i want to say it's like a white silver color i'm hoping it's gonna look like a pearl what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my shiny white top coat and i'm gonna add a layer of that to the entire surface making sure i go along the side wall trying to be careful with the hinge too because i don't want to get the hinge and then it not be able to close i'm gonna cure that i'm just gonna go in with my finger oh yeah see it's like a silvery this is pretty it's gonna make it look like a pearl yeah it's gonna look like a linen like i keep saying linen it's gonna make it look like a silky surface again i'm gonna top coat it just so it's good to go shiny white top coat 
again all right so to do the physical alien let me just pull him up because i want to get him good what is his name i'm gonna just put mexico alien so he is in the white cloth my cloth looking a little green but it's okay omg he looks creepy okay so we're gonna take some carving gel and he is skinny oh you know what let me add some base gel so for some reason this carving gel i got this one on amazon again but that carving gel it doesn't stick to like a shiny flat surface so you need to have something like for it to stick to i'm just gonna cure that for like 15 seconds boom I know this middle part needs to be a little wider because that's where his hips are. Legs are separate. He has like a long torso too. It's gonna come together guys, I promise. Right? Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. Some weird rib going on the sides. I'm just gonna push that in a little bit. More of a gap up here. This is what we got so far. I still need to do the arm and chest area. Oh, the hands look hard. I do not think I'm gonna be able to do the hands. So this is where the chest is. This is weird. <gasps> you are the other arm. Go down. I think I'm making him too big. You know what? I'm gonna leave it like that. I don't... I can't do his hands. It's too tiny. Well, absolutely. Look at his head. What is that? I'm gonna leave it like that. He has a small head. And he's kind of flat here. Why does it look like he's smiling? Okay, I'm not gonna talk. I'm gonna concentrate. Because... This looks nothing like the alien. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm just going to start drawing maybe like the facial features. I think that's gonna be a lot easier than me trying to carve this little freaking guy out on a nail. I'm gonna take my micro and use some black and maybe some gray and do a little bit of shading because this thing is not looking how I want it to look. He don't even look like an alien. gonna take some of this gypsum as well i'm just gonna rub this on him because if you notice in i actually have gray too so i'm gonna take the gray one as well if you notice in like these photos he has like this grainy texture and this is that same type of texture so i think it's gonna look really good if like i start rubbing this on him right, look at that i think that looks cool he's like dirty i like that i'm gonna cure that this is hilarious it looks nothing like the freaking alien but i tried anyway we're just gonna keep going with it <laughs> okay so we're gonna glue the door on so i'm just gonna take a little piece of paper this is the backing of a nail form so i'm just gonna take a small amount this is again my rubber base gel i'm gonna add that to this part like so take my clear tip kind of do one of these oh he is large he is too big let me just take this out we're gonna work with it i don't think i could close him you know what i think i could close it on the outside let me do that instead the door is gonna be on the outside the hinge i mean i think that's gonna work better and just hope and pray he stays inside like that okay it opens i don't know where my black gel polish went so i'm actually just gonna go in with this gray and i am going to apply that to the entire surface of the cover the door itself that it the, like he's in like the box that he's in is like a regular brown box but i kind of wanted to make it a little bit more futuristic so i wanted to do a metal door oh that would have been cool if there was a silver hinge damn i need to start ordering more stuff what is happening Go ahead i'm gonna cure that i kind of like this one i think i'm gonna do a little bit of some hollow and then this dark one and kind of mix the two inside i kind of want a lot of different types of chrome powders on top and all of these i got from amazon and then i have this silver silver one which is really pretty now i'm gonna go in and just top coat that so i could add chrome powder yeah i'm gonna cure that i don't know if i want to do like i have an idea in my mind i just don't know if it's gonna look good 
So I'm only gonna take the dark um, and kind of just like rub it in like this. I'll do an X, right? Bear with me. I'm gonna do an X. And then I'm gonna take the other one, which is this like mirror. What do you call this? It's like a, a unicorn chrome. And then I'm gonna do that on these little parts. In this corner, on the top, and this other corner. But let's see if that did exactly what I wanted it to do. Not really. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna rub the dark one on top all over. I think it just works better anyway. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna take my striper brush and draw an X. I'm gonna, I wanna draw an X because I, like I said, I wanna make it look like a metal door. So this is like the center right here. I'm gonna just draw an X from one side to another and then I'm gonna cure that. <music> Then I'm gonna do the mirror chrome on top of that and let's see how that looks. Oh, it did work, kinda. I'm gonna do a matte. Let me do matte and then I'm gonna do the physical X shiny. I think you'll be able to see it better like that. Ooh, X like the X Files. Y'all remember that show? I used to love that show. Okay, so well, we got matte. I'm just gonna draw out this shiny part to make this X pop out. All right, y'all, we about to wrap it up. I'm hyped for this. So now I'm gonna go in with Bling It No Wipe Rhinestone Gel. And we're gonna use these guys instead of Bling. This is from, did I get this from Timu? No, I got this from Amazon. And they're like silver, they're not pearls, they're just silver circles. That's the only thing with these things. It's like they open, you think they open one way and they don't, it's like upside down. All right, so I got all my pieces out. I'm gonna go in, like I said, with my Bling It Rhinestone Gel. We're gonna go in and add a design. So all of these, I'm probably gonna add a little bit here and then definitely here, because like I said, I want this to look like a metal door. So once I had like, add like these circle pearls on it, um, I think it will just all come together. And then I'm gonna show you the image of where I got this idea from. So I did not come up with this idea. I got it from somebody else, so I'm giving her credit why I wanted it clear because I really 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 liked how hers look and it just looks really futuristic and so like it's like sci-fi and I thought that design would look really pretty with you know this theme Now just to tie in this middle nail, I'm actually gonna add some beads on the top. I'm gonna have it running across this top section. Oh, again, I gotta actually gotta do something on the inside. So again, I'm just gonna top coat. Um, and I think I'm gonna use that shiny chrome that I wanted to use to begin with, the unicorn chrome. Let's see if it works. And again, I'm gonna be real simple with the inside, just like the last video, cause I'm just cutting it close and I gotta go pick up my babies. I'm a little disappointed in my actual alien that he doesn't look like the alien himself. <laughs> and rub that in. Last step, half coat. I like that. I think for the inside of the door, I think that's cool. Three hours and 17 minutes. A lot of you guys want to know going forward like how long it takes me to do certain things. So yeah, three hours and 17? 17, 17 minutes. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. This is the outcome of my alien-inspired nail design. I am obsessed with this guy. I honestly didn't think he was going to come out this good. He does exactly what I wanted it to do. I was afraid he was going to be stuck, but he moved.
videos. I am really liking it and digging it. Look at my little, oh my god, my little Mexican alien. Like, come on. But y'all, he does not look like what he's supposed to look like. Does he even look like an alien to you? Kinda? Not really? I don't know. We're gonna go with it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this design. Even though it was a little bit challenging, I had a lot of fun creating it. I'm super pleased. Like I said, well, how everything else came out except for my little Mexico alien guy. Yeah, my little corpse right there. He not corpse in the way I wanted him to corpse, but it's okay. But yeah, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments what kind of Halloween nail design you want to see me create next. I have so many ideas. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Like this video if you enjoy my content. And yeah, that is it for this video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Love ya.